So a lot of us are in our season of waiting for something. And I made a post recently about waiting and how if you are waiting, it's going to be really, really great. And I had some people that actually said, you know, that they've been waiting long enough and God is taking too long. And I felt that because sometimes I'm like, okay, God, give it to me. But but on, on my end, I will have to admit that sometimes I am the reason why that promise hasn't come. And I would like for you to ask yourself that. Are you the reason why it may possibly be delayed? I know for me personally, I have done things that has caused the delay. But then on the other hand, I heard a creator say today that the re- maybe the reason why you don't have it is because you're not ready for it. And God doesn't want to give you something that you're not ready for because then you could mess it up. But then on the other hand, maybe it's just not your timing. The timing hasn't aligned. And when God is ready for you to have it, then you will have it. In either case, I do have a scripture. I feel like a lot of times we um, know the scripture because you're supposed to write something down, make it plain, and then God will give you that thing that you've written down. But we don't look at the scripture that's right after it. So in Habakkuk chapter two, starting at verse two, going all the way to verse three, it says, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end. It will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. So it may linger. It may take some time for it to happen. It will not delay, meaning that when it comes, it's coming at the right time, the appointed time, the time that God has for it to come. And so I will say this, while you are waiting, make sure that you're being obedient to God so that you don't add some extra wait time. Because I, like I said, I've done it.